we are now in the city of Srebrenica. So again, just briefly, Dreamer Resources is a local subsidiary. It's the holder of the three licenses that we are within right now. We are actually within, currently within license all of it. My name is Sam Bourne, I'm a project geologist here, I've been working here for two years now. Prior to that I was working for Blue Jay Mining in Greenland, um, so I did four seasons in Greenland in exploration. Um, so managing day-to-day -day operations here, doing the exploration targeting, integrating all of our data that we have and um, yeah, pleased with the results so far, so we get to show you some of the drill core today. We have some of the representative core uh, laid out here. in location, this is our second of the three targets established on the Biogorzani project, Terra Volcanica's flagship project in Bosnia. As you can see, the drill rig is spinning right now. We are re-entering the same hole that we drilled last year, where we reached 216, 215 meters of depth. And within a day or two, we'll be basically back at that depth and then proceeding further. Obviously, this target is very exciting for us. Uh, it has a ma massive potential in terms of its significance and size. We're standing here at the Brajni target within the 800 meter long calc silicate horizon on surface. The drill rig behind me is proceeding back down to 215 meters, where we will continue where we left off. The last lithology we were in was a potassic diorite that had been overprinted by borite sericite alteration, and it was gold bearing. We're headed towards a large conductor, coincident with a magnetic anomaly. So if you pair the geophysics with the alteration, it looks to us like we're headed towards the center of this porphyry target. Volcanica Resource Corp is entering, I would say, a pivotal phase of its corporate development in 2023. Here, we are at the Brezhnev target, drilling this massive porphyry conductivity target that we interpret to be uh, a tier one size uh, potential body. Um, and uh, that in itself is going to be uh, fundamental for the company's development. We have also just completed phase two, stage one drilling of the Trumagichi target. Again, for those ones who are not familiar, this is a high-grade polymetallic silver-dominated epithermal vein-hosted target, also within the Biogorzani cluster, just about 14 kilometers to the northwest. As you can see, Terra is exposed to both polymetallic basket of commodities as well as base metal commodities, and of course, not to mention uh, what we have in Serbia. And what we have in Serbia is also very exciting. Our technical team has managed to really add a lot of value to the Cerovište project, Cerovište license, 80 kilometer size uh, property in south, southern Serbia, where we, in addition to the high grade gold that we see on the surface, which we have surveyed, identified through soil sampling, uh, we also developed a, uh, a brand new, what we interpret to be another porphyry target in the northwestern segment of uh, Cerovište license. Uh, that one has an expression of about coastal kilometer size. Uh, geochemical in-soil anomaly that obviously requires some more work but to have proximity of both high-grade gold and that newly identified porphyry target 
within basically a couple of square kilometers is truly amazing. As you can see, Terra has a plenty of really interesting, really promising geological targets to drill, combined with a robust capital markets plan that is currently being put in place we see the releases, the technical releases of this information to actually go hand in hand with a value add that we're going to create uh, for all the shareholders by basically working working in unison with our capital markets team and the technical team to uh, add value and uh, you know, hopefully given possibly even better conditions in the general markets and the macroeconomic situation, all working in unity to actually create value and bring Terra to where I think it should be in terms of share price by the end of 2023.